As the first step, we are looking at the operating system. Also from a technical point of view, it does actually make sense looking at the OS first, because measuring specific timing parameters also on functions does require that the profile is aware of the OS context switches. On the left hand side, we see a sample profiling result including a timeline and statistics of all types of objects we are interested in, meaning OS tasks, ISRs and also functions. And as you see here, runnables instead of functions. Obviously, we will focus here more on outer OSs, but uh, the same principles also apply more or less to any other preemptive real-time operating system. The screenshot that you see here is actually taken from an outer demo using the ITAS RTA OS, running on an NXP S32K148 microcontroller. So, how do we get to such an outer profiling? Here, I quickly want to demonstrate two options. The first option is the easier one and pretty much the standard way of doing outsourcing profiling these days. This is running task and ISR profiling by means of the so-called ORTI file. Here, I have a Winnie workspace running this little outsourcing demo on the SO2K148 microcontroller. So if I want to do running task and ISR profiling, I need to import the ORTI file into the Win idea. The ORTI file is generated by the Autos OS generation tool. So via the debug menu, I can define the corresponding symbol file and also the underlying OS. Here in our case, we have an Autos OS. So I select Autos And the OS is described in the form of an RT file. Here the file pizzapronto.rt. So I do a new download. Then start the trace recording and also start the CPU. Then the profiler builds up into the timeline and also the, the, the statistics. Okay, so let's take a quick look into the profile configuration first. We see the profile analysis is selected for code, meaning function profiling based on program trace and for the US. And for the US, we have selected that we want to analyze tasks and ISRs category 2. And if you, for example, select tasks here, the profiler shows us the information it has taken from the ORTI file. For example, this ORTI running, running task object can be analyzed by tracing all data rights of the OS kernel to the variable OS running task. But as the, same, uh, as the name implies, we can only see which task is currently running. So let's take a closer look at the timeline. So we see this task write code is running for a while here. Then this task order pizza is running. Write code again, eat pizza, and then finally write, write code again. But actually looking at this pattern, I think we kind of guess that what is really happening here. Because in reality, the write code task is started here, gets preempted by order pizza. Write code resumes, gets uh, again preempted by eat pizza, and then finally terminates. But we cannot really measure this, and therefore, for the profiler, all these pieces here are treated as multiple instances of the task write code. And all the statistics is, of course, calculated accordingly. Like the net time here, for example, is okay. Uh, but with cross time, you need to be a bit careful. It only takes into account task preemptions by ISRs, but not preemptions by other tasks, since we cannot measure this, obviously. Analyzing the CPU load is possible. However, only if you actually have a real idle task in your system, where the CPU is actually idling. In this case here, the idle task net time is this roughly like 33%, meaning the CPU load is 100% percent minus 33 equals to 67 percent uh, CPU load. But overall this is not really the ideal profiling result 
it would be much more informative if you could see each detailed task state. And how to do this, I will show you now. So I'm opening a new Unity workspace and I'm uh, just using the, the exact same demo code again, just another Winidio workspace. And I'm, I'm adding the Autosar awareness to the Winidio again. But here, Instead of the OT file, I select this iSystem XML. Here I actually don't want to go into details about this XML file. I just want to mention that the file can actually be generated automatically by a utility called Itchy, which stands for iSystem Trace Configuration Helper. And we also have dedicated webinars and application notes about this topic. So. If you take a closer look now at the timeline, we now see all the detailed task dates. So how did we do this? The XML file is actually just one part of this game. And I have to admit that the whole solution actually depends on the particular OS. But here in this case of the ETAS RTA OS, the main magic is actually done in the profiler inspectors. And I also don't want to go into details here, but it's just so much. The inspectors basically calculate the task states from multiple different status data from the OS. So let's take a look at one of the inspectors. So we basically trace multiple data objects and evaluate them according to this expression here. And the result of this expression controls this state machine representing the task states. So with this method, now we clearly see what happens. The write code task is first suspended and gets activated, entering steady states for a little while before it becomes running. It gets preempted by order pizza, so it goes to a ready state, resumes again, and again preempted by the eat pizza, and finally it terminates. And by the way, part of the XML is also that you can define certain functions to be uh, treated as runnables. They will then be listed here separately, and they can also be included, for instance, in a BTF export, when you want to export the profile timeline to another timing analysis tool. Okay, so now we have a basic understanding of the OS profiling. 